all right guys so my dear friends what we're going to do is we are going to look at uh, uh, how to create a form okay and we are going to look at some of uh, these global variables which are quite important for example if we look at here this dollar underscore server uh, so that is an array and then we say php underscore self and what uh, they do is it returns the current file okay and what do I mean by the current file if you look at the output of this uh, localhost let's do that So that is returning uh, the current uh, file okay and so this is our file and he is inside PHP folder and you guys know that so if we come right here go to this PC right in this PC we go to XAMPP okay and in XAMPP then we go to htdocs and in htdocs we go to PHP so here is htdocs here is PHP and inside PHP we got PHP 04 so this is the file and which folder he is in he is in this folder yeah so whatever is inside here that is going to get executed now uh, if you guys see right here down in the code which we will talk about it in a second <clears throat> I put here PHP underscore self and what that mean is that right here this is an HTML form and this form the job of this and the function of this uh, form is to uh, collect data from the user but when this data is collected we are going to do an action on this data and that action is where is the code you know, and another way to make it easy for you guys is where is that action is going to get for form okay so this data is going to PHP underscore self mean that the code which is going to do an action on it in a simple term is on the same page which and the same page is this page right here now uh, so that is PHP underscore self uh, that's what it means and it returns the current file okay uh, server name is easy it's just returning the server name okay the server wherever it is installed in our case our server the same server is installed on on what on this machine so it says localhost okay so this is the local computer if you look at the next code it says uh, server underscore HTTP host and the HTTP host of course is the local host so the server and our computer both are uh, the same mach um, machine okay so and you know in another way you can think of it if my server was on godaddy.com or some of these uh, website uh, this they they give you the you know space where you can put your website so then it would have returned that and the last one you know like this one there are many more but just so you guys can see and you can further look at them uh, this one is returning the URL of the current page okay so if you know right here you can see uh, if I go here uh, in localhost uh, slash PHP so this is the current page okay that is returning uh, like I said we are not getting a book for this course because there is online so much material there you guys don't need a book I, like we are using w3 school you can use php.net and there is many more websites that you can use and you don't have to uh, pay all right so let's continue uh, let's continue so here is this form right here yeah this is created with the uh, with HTML okay and um, so what we use this HTML form is to create uh, to create a form where we can collect data from a user once we collect that data we want to do certain action on it maybe we want to send it to a server such as MySQL or just a regular SQL server 
I mean to any database so that is the main uh, function of this farm and any website almost you know all the SQL based websites uh, all of them <clears throat> they have some kind of farm so very important and once you know the basic farm then it can get harder but the idea is the same all right so let's see farm method equal to post and that is in simple term mean meaning that the data we are going to collect we are going to post it okay we are going to submit it so post is what submitting data to the server we are going to submit it to the server right and then php underscore self so that what it means is uh, where this data is going to be sent so in this case what i'm saying is i'm using this form when i gather the data i'm going to do some action on this data and the you know where is where that action is going to take place and who is going to do it we are using php to have action on this data and the code for it is right here on the same page so right here uh, okay now uh, let me make it more easier you know so th this would do this okay so let, let me run this and you guys can see it so let me do this uh, so right here we got us just write something there and there we go so right here yeah that is our result right here now if you look at this form it is a very simple form it says input type equal to text okay so we are creating that box there and when we type something in that box think of it like this like it, this f name is going to hold whatever we put there so the best way to learn coding you know if you don't know always do it like this so you don't know what is this why is this here so just remove it okay and this and refresh the page okay uh, you know, refresh right here refresh it and, uh, and let's put something here and when we submit it we got an error and the reason is what we are doing is this let me put it back when you type that value here it is stored here okay so the first name is stored here uh, the last name we say input type we create a box you know a text box we will put a text and if you put number then you will put number there but right here we create that box and we are putting a last name in here okay so when I click submit okay so these two boxes are created uh, as a result of that uh, these two boxes are created this one and this one yeah and like I said again to learn coding you know let's say hey I don't agree so you don't agree okay remove this save it and refresh it so that you understand that uh, that code was responsible for uh, displaying you know whatever was here all right that, that is a good way to learn coding so we go back we say control Z and store it and when we go back it should be there yeah here again I uh, submit you know we create a submit button and that's the way it is done in HTML so the user type in let's say kh here and he type in uh, tw here so when he types something in here and we are saying php cell this case the data from here and here that is going to be processed by let's say the PHP code and that PHP code is on the same page where this farm is okay so F name it's right here so you put a B C D that will come right here then we put here uh, E F G that's going to be stored right here and after this uh, what is going to happen uh, it's this is going to stored in this variable and the last name you know that is going to store in this variable uh, but when they are going to get stored they are going to get stored when 
right here is this uh, this function and it is saying f is set dollar underscore post submit and the meaning of it is what the meaning of it is this uh, let's refresh it so f is set is set is a function okay and we are saying uh, uh, let's type in uh, Let's type. When I click submit, what should happen? If it's set, when you click submit, what should happen? Should this data go into a database? Uh, should it get displayed? That's what it means. So when I click submit, I see it right here. Yeah. So check right here. We say when that is submitted. Yeah. When that uh, submit button is hit, then do put this name in this variable and. Uh, okay so let's say this is uh, John so John store it in here and John Michael so Michael will be stored here and then we got a condition here we say well if the user did not put anything in here then type then display this message and say hey they did not put anything but if they did then display it say else equal dollar name uh, dollar last name equal both of them so that would be John Michael so if they did not put anything so let's say they did not put anything so we say submit say name and last name is empty that is because of this if statement but if they did John Michael you know then uh, we do what we then displayed John and Michael okay. so now just to show you we can do this thing with another uh, with the easy way to and I can say uh, I can say so what I was saying is what I did is I took that PHP code from this page and I put it in the page right here okay so and I also remove that other uh, to put it in an easier way the dollar server underscore PHP self uh, you can use it directly like the action uh, where we are going to send data you know in other way it's PHP 03 dot PHP and this is where the code is okay that code is going to process that data so the HTML is collecting data here yeah and the PHP is going to process it in our case we are just displaying it so if we say PHP self uh, PHP underscore self uh, we have to use that uh, we have to use the dollar underscore server there uh, if we refresh it and submit because we do not have the data uh, right here we don't have the PHP so in this case you know there is uh, we the data is not getting submitted because the code is uh, the code is on this page on PHP 03 so when what we are saying we are saying hey here say so when you gather the data using HTML form um, then uh, then the processing of the data uh, will be done uh, on PHP 03.php the code for it is there I hope that's making sense so if you do that yeah, and we run this code again go back and check all right so if you guys recheck uh, then it should uh, the, the data should go to php 03.php sometime you have to uh, clear the memory of your browser uh, so let me go again if we go back 
So if I type in something, say submit there we go when we type when we type that right here uh, when we type this um, these values in these fields and when we say submit you guys can see see this is php 04.php but when I say submit what is it php 03.php so the code is executed on ph3 uh, php 03.php and I can do some you know to make sure that you guys understand uh, let's put some uh, uh, put a, something there uh, so that you guys know that uh, this code is of course executed on this page so let's go back and submit again and you guys can see that the html the data that we have gathered on html on php 4.php that has been uh, processed uh, in php 03.php page so that has been processed there and we can see it right here if we go back again that is php 04 we gathered this data it is sent to php 03 the action is performed and this data is displayed now of course this is very simple we are just learning it but as we go our main thing would be to send the data from the user into our database as we go on if you guys have any questions leave it down in the comment section all right thank you guys